Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom in Kansas where a softard is at a pre-trial hearing to determine whether or not he wants a jury and to plead his case. And, well, he doesn't plead it very well, so let's just go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this guy make himself look like a complete and total moron. Next matter is State of Kansas versus Gordon Cooley. Uh, case number is 24TR65. Are you Gordon Cooley? You'll need to unmute your screen, sir. Yes, I am the man that is that person. Well, at least he didn't go for any of that living man BS at this point. You know, separating the corporate from the living self, blah, blah, blah. You know, that kind of bullshit that doesn't exist. Right. So you're Gordon Cooley? Yep. Very well. Uh, state appears by Jill Gillette, county attorney. Mr. Uh, Cooley, there's been an amended complaint filed on, it looks like, April 17th. Um, you're charged with driving while suspended as a second offense as for on or about March the 25th of 2024 in Elk County, Kansas. If you, indeed you have a prior conviction where this would be a second offense, that's a Class A misdemeanor. A Class A misdemeanor is punishable up to one year in the county jail and a fine not to exceed $2,500. Additionally, uh, with a second offense for driving while suspended, there's a mandatory five-day minimum sentence. However, a person can be placed on probation from that. Uh, but there, there is mandatory uh, sentence that would have to be imposed. Do you understand what you're charged with? Uh, no, I, I don't quite understand those very – no, I don't. What's your question in regards to uh, what you're charged with? Uh, well, I, uh, I think this is a matter of a, a mistaken identity. Yeah, I really do. Uh the a case of mistaken identity, then why is your name on this document and that is attached to a fee schedule with the uh, evidence identification number on it? Uh, so, which leads me to believe that it's not a case of mistaken identity, that uh, this was most likely taken off of you during the traffic stop itself. So it could very well be the truth. Uh uh, the, my persons was never involved in anything. Uh, I'm carrying my property from point A to point B. Uh, I have no, there's no vested interest of the state to uh, even stop me. I'm not doing, I'm exercising my God given constitutionally protected rights. And I stated that to the man acting as the police officer. I didn't right. present so him with a license. You are charged, sir. Hold on. You're charged okay. with driving while suspended a second offense. That would indicate to me that you've had a first offense. No. So have you had been in court before on this type of charge? Nope. Not on driving while suspended? No, I have not. Well, maybe you should ask your corporate self whether or not uh, they've been driving while suspended because, you know, that's not exactly legal in the state of Kansas nor any state in the union. All right. Well, that is what you're charged with. You don't have to agree with it. You can certainly that is a, an issue at trial. If you feel you have a defense, uh, as with the others that I've explained, you know, you have certain rights. You are charged with a misdemeanor, so you are entitled to be uh, represented by a counsel. And if you wish to apply for court appointed counsel, if you meet the financial guidelines, I would appoint one to represent you. You also have the right to represent yourself. You also have the right. Uh, to, to have counsel of your own choosing at your own expense. So uh, at this time, uh, if you wish to have a trial, if you wish to speak with an attorney uh, or, uh, you know, counsel, would he qualify under any programs you have since he's charged this as a second offense? Um, no. All right. So apparently diversion wouldn't be a, an option for you. So if you're wishing to have a trial uh, or to speak with an attorney, your plea at this time should be not guilty. Uh, if you wish to plead guilty, then we'd proceed to sentencing. Uh, but um, 
based upon what, what you're telling me, uh, it, it, it was uh, those would be issues that could be addressed at trial. So uh, at this time, how do you wish to plead? I, I don't plan to, to plead. I guess I'll answer in a format if the mirrors is not acquiesced to quasi right. if you are plea, uh, If you're not <laughs> going to enter a formal plea, you're standing mute, and I will enter a plea of not guilty on your behalf. Well, well, now I see this judge has most likely encountered Savtards before, so he knows how to deal with them. Just don't entertain their freaking arguments, and if they choose not to plead, well, then enter the plea for them as the uh, rules and laws apply in this scenario. Uh, okay, I exercise my right to trial by jury then. I'd like to face the man or the woman that claims I've done them harm Mr. or law. Mr. Cooley? If you wish to have a, a trial by I'm, jury. I'm Gordy. I'm not Mr. Cooley. I'm Gordy. I'm a man. I'm not a person. All right. Uh, Mr. I, Cooley. Uh, oh, so you don't identify yourself as a person. Okay. Then uh, what other thing do you uh, identify yourself other than a man? Because, well, as a man, you are most definitely a person because, according to this definition, you are a human and humans have genders, and if you are male, then you are man, therefore you are a person. So uh, other than that, uh, what else do you identify as? Do you identify as a Viltramite, a Klingon, uh, a uh, Vorlon? What do you identify as? Can I ask you a question? You need to be quiet for a moment. I'm going to explain what the, the situation is. You have the right to be represented by counsel. You 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 entered a plea, uh, refusing to enter a plea, which is fine. You can a person can stand mute, and I will set this matter for trial. If you wish to be rep or have a jury trial, you have the right to do so. However, you need to do that in the proper form. With a misdemeanor offense, you have to uh, file a written motion for that request. Otherwise, it's set uh, before the court. So you would need to do that in a timely way. If you're going to represent yourself, uh, you would have to follow the rules as though you're an attorney. So all of those things would, you know, most people don't have the training uh, to where if they're going to do a jury trial, they're, they're, you know, they're better off being represented by counsel. But that's a choice that you're going to have to make. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yes, you may. Uh, can there be a valid cause of action without an injured party? Sir, that's not a valid question for what we're doing here today. You, uh, I've, I've tried settling this matter in the private twice. I was, I was, if you have any papers in front of you with my signature on them, it's because that is what was required for me to get away from my captors. Oh, you poor little sovtard. Doesn't know the difference between kidnapping and a lawful arrest where you break the law such as you did and you get uh, put into a detention center temporarily until you can meet certain requirements. I don't understand what a man thinks that he has the authority to take another man and, and throw them in a box. Yeah, no victim, no crime. Yeah, that bullshit. Yeah, uh, so let's say you run a red light a hundred times and there's no victim, but that one time that you do run that red light and somebody just happens to be there crossing the road because you're not paying attention to that red light because you've crossed there a hundred times, but there's that one time that you should have stopped by that red light, but you didn't, well, now you've created the victim. So, do you understand that traffic laws are there to help prevent people from getting hurt? It's all about prevention, and if you are unwilling to participate in that prevention, then you don't need to have a freaking driver's license. When they have harmed no man or woman, Mr. no claim Cooley, has been brought Mr. against Cooley, them. You need to be quiet now. We're going to give you a court date, and you can advise me how you're going to proceed at that court date. If you're going to apply for a jury trial, then you'll need to make that application by that time. Otherwise, you'll be set for a bench trial. That's before the court. Sarah, could you give us a date, please? 
What sort of time frame would you like, Judge? 30 minutes? Approximately 30 days, 30 minutes would be fine. We can do May 15th at 2.30. At Judge, I'm out that afternoon. We could do 11.30 if there's no one, nothing else scheduled there. Did we, well, we put that for a trial for an hour, didn't we? So uh, we could, If you only need 30 minutes, we could do the 11 to 12. Well, we said something at 1030, I believe, or, or was it the 10 o'clock that was set for trial? It was the 1030 to 1130 that was set. Okay. Let's set this at 1130 for a pretrial. So, Mr. Cooley, you will need to appear at the uh, courthouse in Howard. And it, if you're going to file a, a motion for a jury trial, you need to have done so by that time. If you're going to hire an attorney, uh, you need to, to do that. Uh, if you're going to apply for an attorney, I would suggest that you do that as soon as possible. So that you, you can have counsel at that time. Am I going to be able to face the man or the woman that has a claim before me? Or are you going to discharge the matter? If there's not a man or a woman here, then this matter needs to be discharged. Did your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. Sir, I've heard these arguments before, and those are not legal arguments. You're, somebody's made these things. I'm not a member of the legal society. Sir, Is, can we bring the law you, to the court, please? You've been, can we bring you've the been, law to the court? Mr. Cooley, stop interrupting. At your hearing, if you have motions that you wish to have heard, you can file them in advance. I would strongly recommend you be represented by counsel. But we're, your, your court appearance is May 15th at 11 30 and you are to be here in person i will invoke my common law rights that's how i it, that's that how I, we that we are adjourned well soft heart how do you even know what your rights are when you couldn't even make it through this hearing without making yourself look like a complete and total moron at every turn i mean i really doubt that you even know what common law is, which is to be expected with these soft tards. You know, they don't know jack squat about anything, and they think that they know everything because they're the smartest people on the planet. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?